Howdy, hey everybody, it's SK again. I think, uh, I think it is finally time. Um, it has been quite a bit of time since I have actually sat down to play this game last, partially because uh, capture card issues, partially because real life just kind of fucking sucks right now. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually get to upload this, because I haven't had a chance to really upload anything for like a week or two now, just because shit's been rough. But anyway, we are on... I think the final episode of this, I think I'm on the actual penultimate, ultimate episode, ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny, etc. Oh. Earthquake magnitude nine, eh? Oh, yeah, no, we are straight up to the end, okay. Is that the home king of the Devil King Grandel? I, I, I don't know. Is it the home of the Devil King Grandel? Did I manage to just immediately skip past everything? So, yeah, uh, this this should be sort of like the final, the final episode here, because I should have sort of everything ready to go. Uh, and also, I, I finally figured out the issue with the capture card. <laughs> Turns out that the capture card I use just doesn't like USB 3, USB type, or USB 3.0 speeds. It just doesn't always play well in the sandbox. It's actually specifically designed for USB 2.0. Yeah, so technology, it's weird. Um, where, where, wait, wait, why are you walking away? Didn't I have- Oh, you're in Dark Ruins Town. Ah, okay. So... So for funsies, we are going, because I know that there is absolutely no way this is going to work, um, I am going to spend the next few moments pulling my entire army to one specific spot. Specifically and explicitly, because I know I'm not going to be able to. Uh, sure, whatever, I don't, I, sure. Y'all ain't gonna see this anyway. It's gonna roll credits after this point. Win or lose, we're gonna roll credits after this. For sure. But it's pretty cool to have, I don't know, your entire army just marching on a single area, which at this point is, I don't know, 70, 80 generals? Five. So. Let me see. How many? How many divisions do I have? One, two, three, four. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Mm -hmm. Only 40, huh? I would have thought it was more than that, but I suppose. Well, yeah, no, I guess I've got all of these units all kind of chilling back here. You know what? 40, 40 is more than enough. Like I said, it's only the first unit that really matters right now. But you know, all things being equal, the weirdness with the. Uh... Oh, homeboy's awake. If it hadn't been the issues with the uh, recording software, not recording software, but the capture card being weird. Live among your kind once. Oh, Bill Thonkin? No? Okay. You lived among your kind once many years ago, but your ancestors banished us underground. So are they just elves? Like, are they just, like, cancelled elves or something? I don't... I mean, good voice acting. Like, I mean, again, props to, to all of the Japanese voice actors that, that are in anime games and all that kind of stuff. They tend to take it way more... Ser well, not sometimes they take it more seriously. I guess, like, voice work and animated voice work and video game voice work is is more widely accepted. It's more widely respected, I suppose, in Japan than it is in the U.S., where it's just like, Oh, Barry! You know, I... I not to say I have nightmares of that scene. Look, if you've watched the original Resident Evil or pretty much almost any game from the late 90s to early 2000s made in most Western countries, it's, it's not, it's not great. It's really not fantastic. Ironically enough, it's usually only, uh, I think it was a uh, Squaresoft and Blizzard were probably the only two that, and well, okay, and, and Bethesda. They were the only ones that really seemed to take 
voice work really kind of seriously back in, you know, the quote-unquote early days of gaming, as it were. But, uh, yeah, our brethren succumbed to hunger and despair for centuries. There were too many to entomb. For it seemed an eternity, we only had our hunger for revenge to keep us alive. I mean, <laughs> spite will keep you going when everything else fails, I can attest to that. Riding our time, we spun our anger into a curse. In our hands, the Dark Dragon Force is an immense power. Rules of the overworld, you are the last rays of hope for your people. As I slay you, the cold blackness of our anchor shall, shall wash over this world. Who is this guy again? I, I, I remember this being in previous playthroughs that he's just sort of like a surprise on the leader of the Dark Elves get wrecked. <laughs> Only you stand between us and the paradise we so long for. Now, sweet darkness, grant us eternal bliss. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Ready? Oh, that's different. Okay. Light, a small ray of hope, bright and warm. Oh, so the Dragon Force, yeah? And now he has a lightsaber. For the hope of my friends, the hearts of those who love Legendra, this is where real power lies. Okay, then. What's he got? 127 HP. Okay. Horn ogres. <laughs> Revival. Okay, so homeboy's got... Oh, I, I grabbed. I grabbed them. Bad group. Okay. Well, guess what, Rennie? You're gonna be uh, the first... Oh, he has dragons. I just noticed that. What do you have again? Texas. Oh yeah, you have MP stuffs. Okay, well guess what? Uh, Randy, you're gonna be first one to go? Quietly now, to your place of execution. He's got really cool, uh, sprite though. Oh yeah, this music. By the way, this music is suitably fucking creepy. I can appreciate this. One thing, I do kind of meme on the game's music. Um, and in certain cases, maybe... Well, I'm not going to say in certain cases, rightfully so. I do meme on the music a little bit. But I will say that the... Uh, Falcons kind of suck against all of this. So, you're just going to go ahead. You're going to disperse. Um, you guys are just going to retreat a little bit. I think. And then you're going to go ahead and stand by. And I'm going to go ahead and disperse you guys again a little bit. Now, like, I, I, uh, you know, I kind of meme on the music, but it is, I will say, to its credit, uh, much more, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Shite. I would rather not. You know what? If I get him to waste his MP on killing a handful of my people... Then I'm cool with it. Uh, order two. You're just gonna go ahead and attack the boss. Whatever opportunity I have. Oh. That's fine. This is fine. Not JPEG. Because Rennie's gonna be taking a few hits. She's got freaking like 50 HP, so. Oh, 
see you. What are we doing? Something that won't work against flying units. That's cute. All right. But uh, I, I meme on the music, but I will say to Dragon Force 2's credit, I do think the sound design is ultimately better. Um, I genuinely think that for the most part, it is a little bit more emotive and a little bit more evocative of what it's actually trying to convey, right? Dragon Force 1's music was, you know, they were all bops. They were all really good, but they were also a little bit disconnected from from the emotion of what was happening. Oof. That hurts a little. That's fine. Because uh, we're going to heal a little bit. And she's basically just going to tank a whole bunch of mobs. And we're going to see how, how strong Rennie's going to be here. I mean, I know she has Cathexis, which I think is supposed to be the skill to, uh... To restore 2 MP. Oh, she's probably dead now, though. What is that? Yep. Okay, she's gotta go. Oh, I can't retreat. That's unfortunate. That's highly unfortunate. Okay. That, that was a misplay. I should have just spammed healing and then just dipped out. Oh, wait, she couldn't retreat anyway, so I suppose it didn't matter. All right, well. Well, thank you, Rennie. You got him to use most of his MP, so there's that. Uh, hey, Bandars. <laughs> uh, your troops are dead, just just so you know, my man. That That's not going to end well. But in terms of the music for the game, I, Dragon Force 2's music, even if it isn't quote-unquote as good all the time, it is a lot more emotive. It does capture the essence of what it's trying to convey a lot more. And I can appreciate that. I actually, they're, they're both good, but they're good in different ways. You know, Dragon Force 1's sound kind of... I don't even know if iconic is the phrasing for it, but it's it's got this sort of like a... It definitely doesn't necessarily sound like quote-unquote... Well, does it sound like video game music? I don't know. It sounds almost like kind of like pop music or something like that, you know? Whereas Dragon Force, mus or Dragon Force 2 music definitely comes across more as a, you know, PS1 era JRPG kind of music, if that makes sense, where it's trying to be um, orchestral and sweeping and, uh, you know, it takes itself a lot more seriously. And like I said, it's it's for good and ill, so in some cases it ends well, and in some cases it really does not, unfortunately. But music, but this music right here, honestly, I think I've said this in previous playthroughs, um, this music reminds me a lot... Well, that's not really gonna work, is it? May as well just knife toss, I guess. And I'm pretty sure I've said this in previous playthroughs, but this particular track... For some reason, it reminds me a lot of themes you would hear in, like, Batman the Animated Series. Where it's very sort of, like, quiet and minimalistic, but also just really, like, uh, ominous. It, 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 very, it sounds appropriately ominous, and I can appreciate that. So yeah, my, my homeboys are about to probably get their, their shit rocked here, but... But if it means that Averis can survive, so it's a good thing I didn't put Averis in first, being like, la 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 la, because uh, when, you're, when your leader uh, loses in a battle, you game over instantly. Which kind of sucks. It would be nice if he could lose a battle and not just immediately game over. I get why, because it runs the risk of being captured and all that. But it would be kind of cool if that was not the literal only game over condition. I guess the other game over condition is if... Uh, words and sentence structure. I guess the other game over condition would be if you lost all your castles, but... I, I also think I've mentioned this before. I have literally just sat on the main screen for something like eight or nine in-game months and didn't do anything, and the, the AI never actually attacked my individual castle. So this was definitely made with slightly you know, easier AI, where it's not super, super aggressive. It won't, the game doesn't actively try to, you know, rock your world, etc., etc. Which honestly kind of sucks, because this game is actually a lot of fun. I believe, anyway. Hey, Nolt. My savior. 
My savior in another playthrough, or uh, in another... Oh yeah, it's another playthrough. Uh, so while testing, beta testing my whole capture card setup here, and trying to see if I had successfully figured out the issue, which was, again, a pebcac issue. Apparently, through all of the troubleshooting I've been trying to figure out for the last several episodes as to why it was getting all herky-jerky. I thought the whole thing, I was looking for information, and it's like, yeah, you know, the, the Elgato HD60S is, uh, you know, it's HD3 compatible. It has to be uh, HD 3.0. It's USB 3.0 compatible. It has to use USB 3.0. It doesn't use USB 2.0, yada, 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 yada. And then, just for shiggles, I decided that I was going to, uh... Fuck it, I'm just going to use the 2.0 port because I'm, at this point I'm out of options. If it doesn't work, it's not going to work like anything else. You know, it's not going to change anything right now. And I noticed that it, it worked just absolutely flawlessly. After about 15 minutes or so, it was still working flawlessly, and I was a little bit confused. So, uh, I looked online, and then I looked at my capture card. And I realized that my capture card is an Elgato HD60, non-S. And when I tried to look at the difference between them, you know what the difference is? There's two differences. I mean, aside from the HD60 being older. The primary difference is that the HD60 uh, is designed for USB 2.0 in mind, and in fact, doesn't really like USB 3.0. And the second thing is that apparently the HD60 has hardware encoding and the HD60S does not. It's like, oh, okay, whatever, cool. That's a cool fucking story. Um, so basically, all of the Herc jerk from the past, I don't know, like 10 episodes or so, was because I misread all of the information and thought I had the 60S and, and not the non-60S because why would it make it that much of a difference? Apparently it makes a difference. It makes a difference, so... Pepecac issue. I have now solved the issue, though, and you guys get to enjoy this absolutely glorious... Please don't tell me I'm going to actually draw out. I honestly haven't even been watching the screen this entire time. Okay, cool. Well, guess what, Nolt? You're killing his punk ass. Also, small tiny thing, as opposed to a big tiny thing. Uh, I love the fact that in the fan localization of this, every single one of... Nolt's sort of like battle messages are uh, are referencing actual errors in uh, HTML code and uh, net code and stuff like that. And I just, mwah, that is just fucking chef's kiss. I love it. My favorite being, of course, error 404, troops not found. I, I love that. That just, that just makes me so happy. That's probably not anywhere near accurate to what it actually was supposed to be. But you know what? It's, it's, it's so much better this way because I'm willing to bet that even if the original translators did not intend it that way, I'm sure they would be fine with it. And if they're not, oh well, because it's goddamn amazing. Oh yeah, I have now figured out the capture card issue. I don't have to throw my Sega Saturn into a trash bin, not that I was going to anyway. But you know, I, I now have the ability to actually play this on hardware without wanting to tear my hair out. That's such a nice detail. I love it. It makes me so happy. Initiating dual sequence. Beep boop, beep boop. Oh, I know it's not over. You have a second phase. Cue the this is not my final form, yes? Oh, I don't think you really did it. Sorry, honey. Mm-hmm. I'm all right. Like, surprise, bitch! I won't let the descendants of the goddess banish underground again. Masaka. Impossible! Here's where the music gets fucking creepy. Now this, I will say, some of the best music this game has. This is such an amazing final theme music. Or final battle music. It's so good. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Dark Dragon. Again. And voila! Surprise! Uh, you're fighting basically... Uh, not Goldark. Uh, 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 uh. You're fighting Madrick again. 
And I actually, I can appreciate this, where instead of souping this super uh, pool slash weird cutscene of everybody, you know, turning into a giant robot or whatever, you're just like, surprise, bitch, you're in the battle. Okay. Um... Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Also, kudos to the fact that I'm not actually... I actually cannot zoom in any farther than this. Okay. Uh, so we're going to attack the... I literally can't... Oh, that's... Give me strength. Okay. Wow. Okay. Ow. Oh, that's right. There's this... So, yeah, I literally cannot... I literally cannot zoom in farther than that. So, I'm assuming it's a uh, light sword. Where I got that, I don't... Oh, that's right. Light sword is the, the dragon force, the, the sword that he got. Okay. By my hand, I will shield all of Legendra. I swear to God, if this doesn't one-shot up, I'm screwed. That's fucking cool as shit looking, though. That is amazing looking, though. Wait a minute, am I actually dead? Because I can't cast that twice. You're fucking with me right now, right? Is that, is that, am I really dead? Because I don't have an extra, like, 4 MP? Because I don't have MP. <laughs> like, I, I have, I have no MP right now, so. I have, so far as I can tell, I have no means with which to, uh, actively kill this fool. And you know something? Now that I'm sitting back to think about this, I think I have made exactly this mistake at least twice before. I know for a fact I made it with, uh, with Bards' playthrough. So it's like half, so it's like half health, half, half, but after the fourth one you're dead anyway. So, uh, I think I'm screwed. And I think I'm actually going to have to, uh, I need to get him to 10 MP. And that is a, a, a not so great uh, game design flub where you lose the battle just because you literally don't have enough MP to cast your magical ability twice. So, my one dude. Uh, just. What are you doing? Retreat. What are you doing? Wait a minute. Can he actually not kill me? Am I having a stalemate right now? Because clearly I can't duel, right? Like, I mean, clearly I can't, I can't do Jack, right? You know, I'm actually gonna sit back and just wait. How how does the game handle this? Because right now I have no means to survive. I can't kill him. I don't have enough MP to kill him. There it goes. Okay. So it's not a stalemate. I just just oops, surprise, you don't have enough MP to cast this spell twice. And I have no way of knowing how much MP it cost. So I kind of wish that... Oh, that's how you game over in this game. You actually were slain in battle. Also, that being zoomed in to 500% pixel speed makes that uh, a not fantastic way to look at that. Okay, well... <laughs> now we know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Oh, 
Okay. We're back. Uh, and now... Avaris now has 12 MP. So just in case it was 6 instead of 5 and I misread it wrong, uh, we now have the means with... Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's do things a little bit differently, right? So instead of looking at from the viewpoint of, man, the game sucks, the game cheated, you know, this is bullshit, the whole thing is bullshit, let's look at it from an opportunity of, I'm being given a chance, quantum leap style, to make things right, right? So I ended up losing a couple people because I was dumb, Rennie did, just wasn't cutting it because she didn't have the right stuff, so let's go ahead and get ourselves maybe a slightly better, I mean, Nolt was literally the only one that kind of stood a chance, right? Galazart. Let me see. I mean, I kind of want to throw Rennie in there again. Just because, you know, she's adorable. And I kind of want to throw Nolt in there again because, you know, she's adorable. She. He's adorable. Uh. Ah! We'll throw Kata in this time. We're going to use this as a chance to make things right. And this time I'm not going to throw my entire army in there because, again, it's 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 there just for, you know, flex points, right? It's not really going to do anything. Excuse me? I really need Rennie? Seriously? Okay, well then. Never mind. I guess I'm not using Kade. I guess I am, in fact, using Rennie. That's fair. Uh, Rennie... We're going to use Bart's Edelvok. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to do Kade. Let's, let's, let's go full Monarch powers, right? Even though Nolt was probably the only one that actually managed to survive this. Fuck it. Let's go ahead and try it, right? But hey, we're going at a very, very sexy, gorgeous, adorable... Adorable? Adorable 60 FPS? I don't think that's, that's how that phrasing goes. At all. Yeah, we know. We know. We've seen this. Thank you. There's a part of me that wishes it's like, hey, skill gained 5 MP or whatever, but hey, cool. I got a lightsaber and I can kill a giant dragon with it. That's pretty baller. You know, I'm somehow not surprised that the Ashiguru were actually really good against dragons. Because the uh, samurai were really good against dragons in Dragon Force 1. So somehow that actually doesn't surprise me all that much. Having said that... Well, he has deep black. So I need something that's going to throw... That's going to make him eat... Eat all of his magic points, right? Because that's what I tried to use Rennie for the first time. And she got... kind of She kind of got spanked. So I'm going to throw Ada Lock in here the first time, right? And we're going to see how this works. Again, and now we have the nice um, the nice juxtaposition of Phase 1 music versus Phase 2 music. You can kind of hear the bass of the Phase 1 music in the second Phase music. Like, you can tell that one was a bit of a bass for another. And you know what? Evil versus other evil. He's just going to be like, Fuck you! Oh, he doesn't say anything. Coo. Well, all you people are dead anyway, so... You... I'm sorry, man. I know you can't afford to lose, but... Uh, that ain't happening. Because we have no means to retreat, so it is literally do or die, my dude. And speaking of do or die, on a uh, another playthrough while testing my capture card to make sure that everything was actually, in fact, working, and that I had pep my issues for the last god knows how long, was I had played uh, a couple of turns on a uh, save file in which I was playing Barts again. And uh, I had this one fight where well, long story short, it was basically, <clears throat> it was like six people in my, uh, oh. Well, that's not going to work. We're just going to cross slash because uh, Grandel needs to die, basically. <clears throat> but it was, uh, oh, hang on a sec. Hey, well, that was fun. Voice is still not super fantastic, but, you know, it's a little bit better than it was about 10 seconds ago. 
but I had a playthrough of which I had about six generals parked in an area that uh, Zumo Town wanted. And I mean, it was five against six, so yeah, I mean, lol, we technically have the, the you know, the, the male advantage? No, the, like, you know, we had the unit advantage, or we had the uh, uh, lieutenant advantage, etc., right? But in reality, uh, all of my people had about, I don't know, 40 to 50 troops, and they had about 90 to 100. And one of the uh, advancing generals, one of the ones attacking my castle, was in fact Nolt. And I think I've mentioned in a previous episode that uh, I love having Nolt as one of my units. He is fucking terrifying when he's not one of your units. Having to fight him on the battlefield is fucking terrifying because he has super high HP. Super, whoop, up, 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 up. Just dropped my controller. He has super high HP, super high attack power and defense. I mean, he's he's dumber than a brick. But he is insanely fucking tanky to kill. He's so fucking hard to kill. Uh, and I'd had reinforcements coming my way. I just realized Grandel's at like 50% HP. Hot damn go Edelbach. Uh This is already going way better. But uh, he... Uh, I had reinforcements on the way to this castle, but they didn't arrive in time because I kind of didn't notice that the uh, army was advancing until it was a little bit too late. I could have retreated. I had already done it two or three times in these neighboring castles. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We're, we're going to keep this castle one way or another. It is do or die. And basically, I, I went whole hog. I just decided on my like, look. Either, look, generals, either you win or you lose. And there is there is no retreating. Like, you, you're fighting to the death. You won't make it work. And I was actually down to my last person. And I was like, oh, I am, I am fucking dead. There is no way <clears throat> that my dude of like 40 units is going to be taking down Nolt's army of like 70 or 80 robots or whatever. And it just so happened. It just so happened. Do I want to be a shit? I want to be a shit. It just so happened that the last guy that I had with this 40 units was really, really good against robots. And unfortunately, I'm not nearly as well-versed in Dragon Force 2's troop chart as I am Dragon Force 1. Uh, one, because I've been playing Dragon Force 1 since I was like 13, so I literally have the troop chart memorized. Yes, I'm a nerd. Uh, Dragon Force 2, because Dragon Force 2's troop chart is something like 20 units or something like that, and you could memorize it. I, I'm not saying you can't. I absolutely could if I wanted to. But, dude, that's a lot to fucking memorize, man. It is a lot to memorize. It's a lot. Okay, uh, 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 uh. We're gonna cut Dex some shit. I don't think it's gonna take anything down. But maybe it might kill a couple units. Killed more than it did the first time, so I'll take it. And this time, I have learned... That we are going... Actually, you know what, this time I'm going to Cathexus first so I can get some MP back. Well, she has full MP. Or full HP, that is. And that way, she can basically just heal tank herself while these units murder him. Because that's exactly how I plan for this shit to go. I don't know about y'all. Oh no, whoops. Oh no, don't retreat! It's not like I have the option to. So this whole fight is going to be fucking Rennie's revenge right here. That, that's how this shit's going to work. Not that I intended- clearly this is how I, what I intended, right? Like, obviously, this is what I wanted to have happen. You know, I clearly... ...jabated Randall and got my dumbass killed purely so that way I could have Rennie get the last laugh here because, you know, she's a bean and she doesn't deserve to get killed in such a stupid way, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how I'm going to play this. I, I can do that. Meanwhile, poor Grandel here is getting his shit wrecked by a bunch of rampaging mages, which is hilarious. Uh, we're going to Cathexus. I think I can take a... I think I can last another 10 or 15 seconds um, to get a bit of MP back. And this is why uh, I think Varley was the other... Uh, the other unit that has this, Kiskathexis, which gives you, uh, basically MP back. 
this is why the, uh, why those characters are super fucking OP. Because if they get to the point where they can survive long enough, they can basically just stay alive forever. They can literally just survive forever. They will never run out of MP because they can cathexis long enough to heal, and then cathex if they can if they can stay alive long enough to cathexis and then heal, then they just they just never die. Period. It's so fucking it's so I'm so so fucking broken. It's so fucking broken. And as somebody who played a Restro Druid for years, I fucking love it, man. It's so stupid, and I love it. Okay, motherfucker, we're gonna do this shit again. And this time, we're actually going to win. And hang on a second. Let me just make sure I actually unpause this. <laughs> For my own sanity. Let me make sure that I actually have... Oh, good. Thank God. All right. I did unpause. Wonderful. That makes me so happy. Because I would have been just very displeased with the knowledge that I had spent this entire time talking into a void. you think I'd be used to it by now. But I'm not. Move up. Because at this point, my, my units are literally fucking useless. They are providing nothing except a means to die. Which kind of pisses me off a little bit. At least in Dragon Force 1, you could do a little bit of damage to them. I think it was like you couldn't do damage to Madrix's second form until you used your Dragon Force ability. Wow, that actually lags the game. That's... Hilarious. Uh, just fuck it. Just, who, who even gives a shit? They're just gonna stand there whacking away. But, uh. Uh, words and sentence structure. Uh huh, that's a cool story, buddy. Yeah, we've already had this discussion once, buddy. Thank you. Cool animation, though. It's really cool. Also, lags the shit out of the system. But, uh, at least for the, I think, the second. Uh, or maybe it did. Maybe, uh, maybe it was just the first phase where they could damage magic. But I could have sworn it was like after the after using your dark dragon ability, or after he dark dragon ability, uh, after magic or what am I trying to say? After your general used their dragon force ability, they could do a little bit of damage, like one HP's worth of damage or something like that. I may be incorrect. It just feels weird that in a game dedicated entirely to troop management and stuff like that, you you literally don't use them in the final battle. It's kind of weird. But now, hopefully, hopefully I remember permanently going forward that for the last battle, I have to make sure they have, like, at least 12 MP so they can use whatever uh, final ability they have. Light. Your wretched light. The light that banished us. Sent Kriwis to create for ourselves. You would wield that light to smash it once more. Like, bro, you could have just asked to come in. Like, you didn't have to smash my windows and, like, knock over my teapot and shit. Like, you could have just asked. I might have said no, but you could have asked. So this is how it must be. We sought out darkness, and in the end, we achieved nothing. Our promised land was not to be. Found not by the darkness in the bowels of the earth, but by the darkness in our hearts. There you go. That's learning a valuable life lesson. When do these dark chains first bind us? If the will to destroy couldn't free us, what can? How about not being a douchebag? Now it's clear that seeking revenge didn't free us from incarceration. Perhaps the road to freedom was to fight the darkness within ourselves. We chose the wrong path. Yeah, you did. Now I understand. I must let the light fill the void in my heart. 
これこそ救済真の解放であったか true salvation then I have finally found freedom well good on you for understanding in the last possible second after destroying <laughs> like tens of thousands of lives you know good on you buddy Benny it's over all that remains is the journey home Kaido Explosions? Cheers, okay. I think that's different. That's new music. Congratulations, my lord. Congratulations, my lord. It's... It's kind of weird that all of this is being done on a black screen, though. No, make that your highness. I'm so proud of you. Whatever this song is, it's badass as fuck, though. I like it. I could just feel my head swelling. Tee <laughs> Your head gets any bigger, Hilda, it'll explode. You just couldn't resist, could you, Dora? Enough, you two. Show some dignity for the occasion. I'm sorry. You've still got a lot of maturing to do. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Thanks, King Avers. It's time for me to go home and make sure my people are okay. Oh, sorry. So these are all the monarchs, right? So, yeah. Oh, my God. Names. Let's see. Rennie. Hade. Sanus. Gongus, which is apparently totally different than Gongos. Uh, Edelvok. Bartz. And Hot-Headed Boy. Topaz boy, what the hell is your name? Shen, there you go, I knew that. I'll be leaving as well. I'll have to begin strengthening my nation again. Okay, okay. You have a cool suit, so I'll let it pass. It'll rock. <clears throat> yes? That's right, you tell him, Sanus, by strengthening it, hoping you mean you're going to rebuild your people's homes and bring peace. Uh, exactly. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Seems Princess Sanus is your greatest weakness. I mean, he also waged war against her and kind of got his shit rocked, so yeah, I would hope so. You could say that. Oh, now I'm very curious as to how this plays out when you do the, uh, when you do the Edelvok and Santa storylines. Okay. Come on, let's go. We've got lots of work to do. Right. Come on, Dad. Wait, did she just call Edelvok Dad? Or did she just call... Who? What? Okay. Oh, you know what? Not gonna question it. I'll be returning to Fondaria then. Ah, uh, Lord Bards, before you leave, I wonder if I might ask a special favor. What is it, King Avers? It's about the resurfaced continent. I think you're the one who should rule it. Me? Handling such an important task? Many Dark Elves still live there. They've just been released from the darkness that bound them, and they're probably feeling pretty lost. I've heard that when the Dark Elves immigrated to Legenda in the ancient past, they lived peacefully. Lord Bart's are the only one who can unite these people. Oh, that's what I'm 
Like he said, Bart's, it's gotta be you. You understand both humans and dark elves. It's a no-brainer. Come on, it'll be a piece of cake for you. Not very convincing coming from you. What was that? Well, it's about time to ditch this Casanova and head home. Take care, and I hope we meet again. So wait. In this storyline, those two don't catch it? Those two don't hook up and get together? Hey, wait up. Damn, well, how about I see you off? Bye, everyone. So I guess maybe they do? I don't know. Already henpecked, it looks like. What'll it be, Lord Bart? Everyone's hoping you'll say yes. If it will bring peace, leave it to me. Alright, that settles it. Well, I'll be heading out now. Gongus, who I don't think I ever actually used. Please don't forget, people who care about you are very close by. Close. You mean yourself ready? Oops, guess not. Oh, that's right, because the whole beasts loving elves thing and the, yeah. That's what Gongus, we're going home. Sis, I wish you happiness. It's time for me to depart as well. Oh, Renny, you're welcome to stay longer. We mustn't impose on her. As ruler of Moon Palace, Queen Renny must also work to rebuild her country. Yes, you're right. I'll see you as far to the border then. Thank you very much, Avaris. Okay, this is a pretty decently sized epilogue. Whew, I'm nervous during all these these formalities. Avis, you really have worked hard. You've grown up wonderful wonderfully. I'm very proud. Seems you don't need me to look after you any longer. You found someone else to stay by your side and watch over you. This is only the beginning of your journey. I believe in you, Avaris. Wait, is she about to, like, die or peace out or something? Or, like, go to her home planet or something? That's it? That's the story? You know what? That's kind of fitting. So you know what? Yeah, sure. We can we can do that. That sounds that sounds pretty cool. And it gives us a good chance to see what pictures they have in the end because I'm pretty sure they have different I almost said screen grabs. They have different uh, pieces of artwork in the end to kind of show little bits of epilogue goodness. But uh, you know that was that was pretty good as far as the story is concerned. I mean, you know, it's the story. It is what it is. Um, this one, I think, is a little bit more cohesive. Well, maybe it isn't, but uh, I think it's a little bit uh, more cohesive than, like, say, the Kade one, where it's like her and Shen have to find the two pieces of these legendary swords in order to unlock. So I, I can appreciate the fact that each individual campaign has their own way of unlocking, you know, like, Nightmare Dark Elf Town sort of thing. I can appreciate that. But using Rennie... Like, Rennie taking some of her soul to unlock the whatever it is. Uh, and Tira's just being like, nope, here you go, here's enough of your soul to survive, etc, etc. Um, I think that's cool. Also, where did Queen Terrace go? She's still alive, right? Because I remember that being part of the story in at least a previous playthrough, where you hear all of the... You hear all of the old members of the... Oh, wait, I think that was in a previous episode. Never mind. The, the members of the uh, 
the OG Dragon Force, keeping you alive or something like that. Uh, I, I liked it. Do I like it more than the other uh, campaigns? I'm not sure. I still think... I still think I enjoy the Bart's version of the story the most, simply because it's he's a lot more tied into the whole Dark Elf thing happening, so there's a lot more, like, fighting Midia. You don't actually fight her because you two have, a, you know, you two have history. And then Midia, I think with the Fondaria storyline, um, uh, the whole... I can't words. The whole thing happening with Midia, how how all that all, that all went down in order for Midia helping him... Uh, Arts, unlocking, you know, Dark Elf Town and stuff like that. Um, but I liked it. You know, I actually really liked this campaign the most overall, simply because I had a lot more freedom to maneuver around the map. Uh, that's the single biggest thing thus far about Dragon Force 2 that's been really bugging the shit out of me. Is that with both Kade and Bart's, the storyline, like the ability for you to move across the map and do what you want is a lot more uh, blocked off because it is much more narrative focused this time around versus Dragon Force 1 where it's just like surprise bitch here's the map you know maybe the story tells you to go take over Topaz but you can go wherever the fuck you want you don't really it, nothing's explicitly blocking you whereas in Dragon Force 2 they will just put castles that just literally won't let you progress until you hit the story beat they want you to hit I guess to prevent sequence break breaking and actually having a cohesive story but it's one of the things excuse me, thus far about Dragon Force 2 that's bothered me by far the most. And thus far, playing Highland um, has really highlighted how fun this game could be if those things weren't available, you know, if those things didn't happen in the other playthroughs. Because here, you know, I, there was, I think maybe one or two instances in which there was uh, one of the, the, demon castles that just would not let me progress and i think that was literally just blocking off tristan and uh and moon palace so i basically had the whole run of the place i could go pretty much wherever the fuck i wanted on the continent and that made it a lot more fun did i miss some story beats probably but it's going to end up at the same place anyway so you know if i miss a couple if i miss a line or two of dialogue well whatever i can just replay it but i like the fact that i can kind of wander around the whole wherever and then just have fun on the map. So overall, I think I like the Avarice campaign the most so far because I have a lot of freedom on the map versus the other two, which were much more narrative locked. However, I am very curious to see how the other campaigns shape up. Having said that, I don't know how long it's going to be until I get to that point um, or how that's going to take place. I don't know if it's going to be, even if I do, I don't know if it's going to be a let's play or if it's actually just going to be a straight up long play. You know, I have been thinking about just sort of not abandoning Let's Play, but, you know, trying to focus more on long play where I don't really have to focus on commentary. I can just focus sort of on the game itself. So I'm guessing Terrace is still alive, though. <laughs> あの人たちと一緒にいると辛いの。この大陸がまた光に満ち溢れるまで眠りについていてもいいよね。みんなと会える眠りに。I really wish I understood what she said, but honestly, I feel really really bad. For Tiris, because she basically lived in a state of limbo for 500 years. It's not going to let me save him, assuming now it just takes back to the previous turn. But, uh... I feel really bad for Tiris, who's basically lived for 500 years in, like, this, this feud state, only to be awakened by people without the people that she loved. And she's just... She's only got, like, a portion of her soul, so who knows from a you know, spiritualistical epistemological? Epist epistemology? I know epistemology is a word. From epistemological state? Sure, whatever. From that kind of state, what's gonna happen to her after she dies? Is she just, like, out of existence, or what? I feel kind of bad for her, though. Uh, but no, I liked it. I, I enjoyed this. But yeah, I'm, I gotta be... I'm gonna have to look into 
So like for instance, so I've done Highland, I've done Fundaria, I did Azumo. So right now I have Bozak, Tradnor, Tristan, Moon Palace, and Topaz left to do. And I don't know which one I'm gonna pick next. And even the ones I do pick next, I'm not 100% certain if it's going to be an actual Let's Play format. Because typically, I mean, when you do long plays, most of the long plays you see online, they seem to be run by people who have a, um, excuse me, so sorry, I didn't mean to belch like, directly into the uh, microphone. When you see people who have um, long plays, you see them on YouTube and whatnot, they tend to be kind of refined, not necessarily speed run, but you can tell that they're usually run by people who have already beaten the game and kind of understand the basic strategy and know where to go. So there's not a whole lot of faffing about with sort of, you know, getting lost and dying a lot and things like that. And it doesn't necessarily seem like it's designed, at least a lot of long plays are designed with first playthroughs in mind, you know, or maybe people with first playthroughs, it would frustrate them. I don't, you know, I haven't really looked into long plays very much. They typically seem to be done by more experienced players. So I don't know how a long play would work. But I would almost be kind of interested in doing a long play. And not because I, I don't enjoy doing less plays, but simply because... I don't know, man, sometimes I just don't want to talk. Sometimes I just want to vibe and play the game, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, you know, I, at this point, I have no idea how often or how, you know, rarely I'm going to be uploading. My upload schedule is just completely fucked right now. Um... Uh, so who knows when this is going to go up? I mean, for, for reference, in case anybody's going to be watching this, as of right now, I am currently recording this on March 14th at uh, 12.45 my time. As of right now, as of this moment, technically 12.44, but still. So it'll be an interesting little time capsule as to if and when I'm able to get this thing up. But, you know, I'm going to have to... I got I to gotta make some decisions. Anybody who's watching this, you know, for all five of you are maybe uh feel free to drop a comment and let me know what you think if i should go to a long play format if i should try a let's play format if i should just maybe make like another channel specifically for long plays and that way if i wanted to do a long play i can do a long play of something if i wanted to do a let's play i can do a let's play over here etc what have you but just feel free to just you know leave a comment if you enjoy it drop a like you know it i've really enjoyed i actually have despite the herc jerk and the you know issues with my capture card being the spawn of Satan. I have enjoyed this, uh, and I would love to do more of this. So, like, just let me know. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Peace out. Fuck, where is my unrecord button? Unrecord? What is unrecord? It's the stop recording button.